Gotta start walking up in the dark now. There's two lights in the hallway here and one burned out months ago, if not a year ago. And the other one burned out today. Eh, I'll get to it. Hello everyone. And welcome to uh, Sunday. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Um, I, uh, I didn't really film anything today, but in fairness, I also haven't, like, been awake very long. So, like, today, today almost didn't exist. Um, and I, I mean that. I'm not filming this in a good, I'll, hold on, just give me a sec. Because I'm pulling something up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move the camera. I promise this will make sense. I'm pulling up, uh, very specifically, I'm pulling up my list of games that we played yesterday because I, I, I want to talk maybe a little bit about them. There, it looks better. Um, so uh, I slept, which, um, you know, is probably not any sort of uh, surprise. I went to bed. The stream didn't, get, the stream didn't finish until like uh, 9 a.m., and then um, I had to take care of a few things. Uh, and I talked to Chaz for a little bit after, just while things were fresh in my head. Um, and then I went to the bathroom, actually, because uh, anyone who was watching for the entirety of the stream might have been like, hmm, I don't think Stephen went to the bathroom. I didn't. I didn't. And that's really weird for me. Um, but sometimes, I mean, sometimes it's impossible, but, but other times, um, if I am in like, very dedicated, like, entertainer mode, we're gonna do this, we're gonna, you know, you know, hold this all together, then I, I won't, I won't go, uh, I won't go number two, and I didn't all day, so <laughs> when it was finally over and everything, my body was, like, really mad at me, and uh, I went to, the, I, was, I was in the bathroom for a long time, but I finally got to bed um, right, right around noon, I think, was probably about when I went to sleep and I set an alarm for two because Kepler needs to be fed wet food at two and um, when the alarm went off at two I was like oh this is not good so I set I set a uh, an alarm for 30 minutes I was like in 30 minutes I'll, I'll get up and I'll feed him but I, I need just 30 more minutes because the idea of getting out of bed was really hard and uh, he wasn't actively, like, trying to wake me up. So I was like, I think I have a little more time. So at 2.30, um, Mao actually, Mao had set an alarm for 2.30. Or no, I, I maybe my alarm went off and then she woke up. But whatever it was, she was like, hey, um, you know, I'll feed Kepler and you can keep sleeping. And I was like, would you mind? Because that would be fantastic. And she's like, yeah, it's not a problem. So that's what happened. Um Mao actually took care of feeding the cat, and then I went back to bed, and I slept until 6.30. So I had six and a half hours of sleep, and, um, you know, I, I, I still feel a little crummy, right? Because you can't not feel crummy after being awake that long and and doing an event and talking and stuff for, for 21 hours. Like, you just, it's, it's impossible. Um, but I don't feel that bad. I really don't. You know, I... There, I think there's definitely been years where I felt more, more worse. Um, one thing I didn't do that I want to do is, is get a shower. Um, I just haven't done that. And I actually put on the same shirt from yesterday, so I'm, I'm sure that this doesn't smell great, but I'll get a shower tomorrow. But I woke up, um, you know, pretty late and uh, I actually took a walk, which was nice. Me and Chaz took a walk. And then uh, I came back. We just heated up some pizza from, from yesterday and... Um, Dan and Lindsay were already here when I woke up, and uh, we played a little bit of Jackbox because Dan and Lindsay hadn't seen Party Pack 8, and then that was it, and they went home. And Chaz and Jeff went to bed, and now it's it's not even very late, but it's like I'm, I'm going to sleep. Um, so I didn't film anything, but I, I, I honestly, I, I like forgot because it's still like the continuation of one full day in my head. Putting on this shirt probably didn't help either. But uh, Extra Life is always just such a whirlwind, and um, 
and the, and it was this this was a this was a whirlwind. Um, I'm going to talk about some other stuff uh, also, but I wanted to just kind of run through the games. There's a lot that I could talk about related to the event. I don't have a whole lot to say, uh, truthfully. I just want to say again, thank you all so much for for being there, for um, supporting either directly through a donation or for spreading the word, um, even just you know hanging out and 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 being in chat and contributing to the positive uh fun energy is is a big thing like it it helps make the event more enjoyable for everyone else and then also for us because we get to eat off of the energy uh that people are sharing in in chat and it helps us push forward so so long um and it was good it was a good event um we ended up raising over one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars uh and again those donations go until the end of december so that can creep up a little bit more Usually a few days after, there's still a few donations that trickle in, but I feel pretty safe just saying $125,000. Again, it's a crazy amount of money. Um, I have a list of games that we played that I posted onto Twitter, and um, you know, eventually these will all come out onto Steven Place, so you can just watch it there. Uh, but I just wanted to, to make note of a few that um, I, I thought were really fun and special. Um, Trauma Center <laughs> may have been my favorite, actually. Uh, I just felt like tra- Trauma Center is a, a good game, but also I feel like that segment, like like the full segment, is very, very funny and uh, worth catching if you didn't. Um, and, and again, it's not. I'm only going to be mentioning a few things here, and it's not that the other ones aren't good or aren't funny. But because uh, a lot of them have like extremely funny moments in them, but these were just a few that I thought were really, really good. Like throughout, um, Trauma Center is very, very funny uh, throughout. Star Wars is very, very funny throughout because it is, you know, as you can imagine, a content ID nightmare. So we had to turn off the music and do our own music. Also, even though so many people grew up with that game, and I know they did, so many people had the Lego Star Wars games. Me and Dan didn't. And we didn't know anything about it. And the game's really confusing. Like, Lego Star Wars is from the era where there were a few games that were trying this new thing. Well, it's not even necessarily a new thing, but it's a it's a design element that shows up in games occasionally where instead of just having a menu where you just choose from a menu what you want to do, you're in a 3D environment. So if you want to play the game, you're like, you have to wander around from from this area to this area. If like, oh, you want to adjust options, you got to go over here. Like it's a whole thing and it takes a lot longer. For As an adult, it's extremely frustrating, but I'm sure to a kid, it's probably more engaging. So they probably know their audience. So, but for me, I, I thought we were in the game and we were just like in the menu. Anyway, that, that one was, um, that one was also really, really fun. Oh, and um, Storybook Workshop is another one that I felt like, I mean, just, start to finish is very very good and uh such a unique experience also the only sealed game that we opened during extra life um i think maybe actually the past two extra lives we've opened a sealed game um maybe not for gamecube i think we did last year for wii but i i can't remember exactly but uh it's just an eclectic collection of 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 video games and some ones that uh, a lot of them i had never played and uh, gosh darn it, some really weird ones. Like the Dog Island was bizarre. Just this like drama that is clearly aimed at children, but like really heavy for no reason. Like they could have went in a million different directions with the game. I don't know why they went <laughs> in the direction they did. Um, we also did get to play Tetris with the feet. Uh, Ninja Bread Man came at a very late time, but it was it's probably one of the worst video games ever made. And uh, we were like, okay, so this is definitely terrible. And then several hours after, we played Billy the Wizard, made by the same folks. And, you know, it might be worse. I think it might be worse than Ninja Bread Man. It was, it's that bad. Just absolutely, absolutely dreadful. Uh, and one of the most surprising games of the evening, uh, I say evening, like it was an e- it, the, of the day, is uh, Deadly Creatures. Deadly Creatures really surprised me. Um, just really well done. You play as like scorpions and, and uh, tarantulas and stuff in the desert, and you have like these almost Mortal Kombat-esque battles. It's also like a free-roaming environment, and it, you're getting a second-hand story from the perspective of these creatures, 
about something that's going on like in the human world and like it's voiced by like Billy Bob Thornton and stuff. It's kind of it's it's wild, but it's actually it has a lot of polish and it only ever released on the Wii, so go figure. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, I'm I'm very very excited about the event and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and this was our tenth year, and now combined with all previous years, that's four hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars. So just just a hair under half a million dollars raised for the children's hospital. So again, a plus job. You are very incredible, and um, I look forward to doing this again next year. I know folks are going to be asking, like, what system are you doing? What what what, what, what what's happening next year? And I I don't want to. I don't want to announce anything until like I'm super, super sure. So let's just say we'll see. Let's just leave it at that. Um, but we will, unless something goes terribly wrong, continue to do Extra Life as we have done it for the past 10 years. So um, stay tuned for that. Now that all of this excitement is done, you might be wondering what happens next. And I got to tell you, um, there is there's some big stuff coming up. Um, I know that we've kind of alluded to it for the past few months, maybe on the vlog, just here and there. You kind of get little bits and pieces here and there on the vlog or on breakfast stream or, or something about something's happening, something's coming up, and it is, and it's very big. And um, we're going to be talking about that uh, this week. Um, so you, you don't have to wait long, um, but we're just kind of getting last-minute ducks in a row. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's there's a lot about to happen. And we'll discuss it soon. Really, really soon. In the meantime, um, I guess I'm ready to go to sleep again. <laughs> Extra Life is fun. Uh, again, thank you all for being there. Um, if you see a mod, tell them thank you for, for their work because uh, they did incredible yesterday. I mean, as a reminder, like not only are they keeping chat running in, in a way of making sure that there's nothing posted that doesn't need to be posted, but then also offering up, you know, commands to make sure that people know how to do things and just watching it and interacting with pe people. They're also responsible for getting art queued up. I don't know if folks know that, but like, you know, between segments, we run art, um, which also was incredible. Oh my God, the artist, I want to say special thank you to the artist too, because there's so much you should really look through the hashtag we extra life on Twitter. Cause it's a, it's astounding. Um, but the mods are the ones who, that queue that up. So they go on to Twitter, they go through the hashtag, and they get that art queued up. So again, if you see a mod, say thank you, because um, they keep all of our streams running so smoothly, but especially something like Extra Life, which is just an astronomical amount of work. It's I want to make sure that their, their, um, their efforts are seen and appreciated, because it, it's a lot. Okay, I'm done. A uh, little long, a little rambly. I'm tired and I don't care. It's just, it's just going to be the nature of it. Um, I'm going to get some sleep, wake up in the morning, uh, get a shower, and thus change my clothes. And I'll probably feel way, way better. But Sunday is always... We kind of always just write Sunday off, you know, after after the event. Like, you don't feel like a human. You really don't. And uh, I'll feel better on Monday for sure. Let's meet back tomorrow shall we?